Good afternoon and welcome to Marmion Academy's Fall Virtual Open House 2020. I'm Bill Dixon and in my capacity here at Marmion, I serve as Director of Admissions and proud Marmion graduate. We have quite a bit to show you this afternoon, but with all things here at Marmion, we do begin with prayer. And it is my distinct honor to introduce the President of Marmion Abbey and Marmion Academy, Father Abbot John Brayhill, who will commence our program with prayer, a welcome, and we will also select our $500 tuition voucher recipient, Father Abbot John. Thank you very much. As Mr. Dixon just mentioned, I will begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, our Father, on this Feast of All Saints, we give you praise and honor. We give you our worship and adoration. We thank you for your many blessings. As we come together this afternoon virtually, we pray for all those young men who are looking to become students here at Marmion Academy. We ask you to bless each one of them and their families as they learn about Marmion, our programs, our values, our Catholic principles and faith. We want each of them and their families to know that we keep them in our prayers. And we will keep them in our prayers during these difficult days of the pandemic. God, our Father, we ask you to be with each of us and our families to keep us in good health and to keep our spirits up as we give you worship and praise. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As Mr. Dixon mentioned, I am Abbot John Brayhill, Marmion Academy, proud graduate of the class of 1967. That seems like many years ago now, and it is. But I remember my days here with great fondness. I have many good memories. As you join us for this uh, up for this day, for this open house. Normally I say welcome to everybody here, President Marmion. But with the pandemic, of course, our lives have changed drastically. But we still want to have our open house. So again, I, in the name of all the monks of Marmion Abbey, whom you see here to my right, in the name of Mr. Anthony Tinarello, our head of school and principal of all our faculty and staff, I welcome you to this 2020 open house. Thank you all for joining us again and be assured of our prayers for you and please pray for all of us here at Marmion. Thank you and welcome. I will now draw the $500 tuition voucher. The $500 tuition voucher goes to Samuel Carrera. The parents are Ruben and Janelle Carrera. Congratulations to you. We look forward to your being with us next school year. God bless you. At this time, I would uh, introduce, I'd like to introduce Mr. Anthony Tilnarella, who is the head of school and principal of Marmion Academy, and I might add, a proud graduate of the class of 1984, Mr. Tinarella. Thank you, Abbot John. 
1984, that seems like a very long time ago as well, but not quite as long as 1967. But I digress for a moment. Um, welcome. It, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Normally, yes, as Abidjan said, we're here in our beautiful alumni hall. Uh, and just because we cannot be with you personally, know that our prayers are with you. And I want to begin with that. We at Marmion continue to pr pray for all those who have been impacted by this terrible pandemic and know that besides all of those in our community who we continue to pray for, we pray for all of you and your families as well, that we all get to the other side of this pandemic together. My job today is to talk about Marmion, something that I love to do. Uh, as Father said, I am a proud alum. Um, I've, I've also been a part of Marmion for a very long time, but it all begins with the men behind me. Um, the first picture that was up there with Abbot John was a picture of the entire community. We are blessed to have right here on campus. No other school around here is blessed to have just a thousand feet away, a monastery with active monks. And here to my right are those who are active in our school. And I think that's one of the things that sets us aside from other schools. As you're looking at schools, and by the way, thank you for even considering Marmion. This is one of the differences. In fact, to us here at Marmion, it is the difference. All good schools have good academics. All good schools do a lot of great things. This is what sets us aside from the others. We have the presence of the monks, not only in all that we do as a Catholic Benedictine school, but their presence, their presence every day across the board, administration, in the classroom, and then those who just join us to help in tutoring, just to be around our students and our staff. These are the role models for all of us, something, again, we're very fortunate to have. It's about legacy here at Marmion. Marmion's been in the Fox Valley for over 87 years. Um, these pictures here to my right, these actually show some of our Benedictine monks who were, were um, a part of Marmion. Abba John mentioned that he's from the class of 1967. That's his picture there on the lower, uh, lower left of the screen. Uh, Father Charles, Father Charles was actually a quarterback for us in the 1950s, did an amazing job and came back to the academy. Father Michael Burroughs, our faculty chaplain and theology instructor. That's actually him up there uh, receiving his diploma. Um, and then here, uh, right next to me is Father Basil Yender, uh, one of the storied headmasters and instructors uh, here in Marmion, one of the greatest leaders, in my opinion, in, in Marmion history. And then on the bottom, uh, Abbot John, not to embarrass you at all, but it's a wonderful picture of you and Father Michael when you were both very young and, and had first joined the monastery. But you say to yourself, wow, it's wonderful to have the monks here. Well, we have uh, younger monks here too. We have our first alum, Father Anthony, uh, Father Anthony Minardi, who rejoined us, class of 2008. We've been very blessed this year to have join us Father Theodore, and the list can go on and on. It, again, it's the difference here at Marmion. For me, and this is just a, a, a quick moment for myself, uh, my sons, I've trusted Marmion to help my sons become Christian men. My, young, my oldest just graduated last year, a proud alum of the class of 2020. My youngest son, who's pictured behind me, class uh, a junior currently, and, and looking forward to graduation in just a couple of years, and my nephew, who is pictured here in the center. Uh, he's of the class of 2021. Um, we have, my wife and I have entrusted Marmion with what I hope we've been doing here during my time here, building men, Christian men of tomorrow. This is my 41st year as part of Marmion, and I am very proud of that. But let's go back to the beginnings. I do want to talk to you about the beginnings of Marmion and how we got here. I think it's very significant for you to understand the tradition of Marmion. We began on Lake Street, uh, right here to my right, um, are the initial monks of Marmion Abbey, 1948. These are the people who kind of trailblazed the Marmion Monastery. Here, once again, are the monks of today. And the two campuses that Marmion has had. First, our Lake Street campus up here that was actually in Aurora. That was our original campus up until the early 1970s. And this campus here, for a time, Marmion actually had two campuses. One was dedicated to day students and one was dedicated to resident students. The campus that we enjoy today, which has been expanded greatly, was originally for our resident students. But now we are solely a day school, as you know, of over 500 students. I love this picture, the very first graduating class of Marmion with Father Norbert uh, down there. How did Marmion come to be? Well, Marmion was actually called Fox Valley High School. And in 1933, the Benedictine monks who were down in Jasper, Indiana, were asked by the bishop to come up to Aurora to take over what was, unfortunately, a school that was in financial trouble. It was the, heart of the height of the Depression. So they did. And they took Fox Valley High School for boys from the Augustinians, who actually went on to uh, found and, and uh, moved to St. Rita in Chicago. 
they took over Fox Valley High School for boys and they named it Marmion. They named it Marmion after two years, Marmion Academy. And this is that first group of, of young men. This picture are our founders, is a picture of our, of, of our founders. Um, after the founding, this isn't in the 1930s, and I, I apologize that it's a little glazy. It's, it's obviously an older picture. But I look at this and, and I draw great enthusiasm. These are the trailblazers that took over a school for all of us now to be a part of, and hopefully your son, and generations to come. We have over 7,000 alum who've come through these halls, and we're hoping that perhaps your son will be one of them someday as well. Just a couple of pictures which I always like to enjoy. Uh, you can see that's our first basketball team with FV High on it, Fox Valley High School. Um, the uniforms are pretty, uh, I don't know, I don't want to comment them too bad. That was the time. Uh, this is the campus here in color on Lake Street, which is now the Prisco Center in Aurora. That's the footprint that the, sc that the school once had. This was the beginnings of our Butterfield campus. And this is Abbot Gerald Bankert, and, and I love this picture, uh, with, with two of our trustees at the time looking out on what was to become Marmion. The Abbey was the original piece that was built on this property, and the monks used to go back and forth from here to Lake Street. But they decided with the expansion, the baby booming time, that they needed a second campus, as I mentioned earlier. And, and I love this because I, I wish I could understand what he was thinking. Number one, I know he was very proud. It was a very big deal to be building another school here and expanding. But I wish I could have been there with them. And I think of this as us today. You joining in right now, kind of looking over the horizon, thinking about what's to come over the next four years. What's it going to be like? Where are we going to go? It's an exciting time. Here's the beginning of our campus um, back in, in the 1950s. They actually blew up a bomb. That was the groundbreaking. They also had a formal bomb. Uh, uh, bomb. They also had a, a formal groundbreaking, but that was part of it. They blew a bomb up in the middle of the cornfields that were out here, and that was the beginnings of our Butterfield campus. I love that picture. Who would have thought? Uh, and here's the campus actually starting to take form. And as I mentioned, during that time, we had two campuses. A proud monk watching over the building of the Butterfield campus. This is Butterfield Road up on the top. So you can see during that time, this area looked much, much different. The room I'm standing in right now, here's the beginnings of Alumni Hall. Just being poured, not much going on. Um, it's exciting to see this because it keeps us grounded. It keeps us grounded on the traditions, but it also teaches us a lesson about the future. This is a wonderful picture of some of the monks and great leaders uh, in the early parts of, of Marmion that, that continued on all the way through the 1980s and 90s. The picture there on the left, um, I like that picture. Those are three monks and probably somebody's nephew who was visiting. And what I've told our own students is the monks literally put this together with their own hands. And, and what you see them is assembling the lockers and our old dormitory. This has been their life's work for generations. And it continues, as I've mentioned. And these are three of our great storied leaders. Abbot Gerald, Father Joseph Battaglia, and Abbot David Sear. Three wonderful leaders of Marmion who, for many years, taught, uh, served in various administrative roles, and led our school. And this was the final product back in the 1950s. This is our campus at that time, right around 1958. Uh, you can see the school building, which we have, wasn't present. The school was actually housed in the dormitory. Our administrative center and classrooms, not present. Humble beginnings, but we're very proud of what we become. Over the years, a lot of hard work through, the, through our prayers and the guidance of the monks. Generations of monks and lay faculty and staff have formed Marmion of today. Marmion of today, covering an expanse property. That's a wonderful picture. I love that. And here's the connection to the past. This is our senior class here on the bottom when they were freshmen, and here's that original class again from 1933, connecting that Fox Valley High School for boys to Marmion Academy of today. And what it's been through all of our years, it's been about tradition and service, tradition and service of the Fox Valley. And that's what I'm excited to talk to you about. Marmion today. Great picture of our cadet crazies. Um, realize the pictures that are in my PowerPoint are pre-pandemic. Uh, but I, I want you to see the essence of Marmion as it will be once again when we get to the other side of these very difficult times. Our organiz organizational structure is very expansive. I don't want to go through this whole slide, but I want to point out here is there are 17 committees 
17 committees that I have in place that work on behalf of your son. Many, many different reasons for those committees, academic subcommittees, uh, curricular subcommittees, and I could go on. But I want you to see this. So it's not just all of the people here working single, singly, it's a, it's a pure collaborative effort on behalf of your son. The organizational structure in the school, I am the head of school of, in, in principal. I have three assistant principals, and our student affairs office is made up of three uh, very talented men. Um, all of us together make up the main administrative team of the school. Some fun pictures here, and, and we do. We love to brag about our students. So our senior class there, and I know it's not the best look, it's kind of small, but you can see uh, hopefully a lot of smiling faces. Uh, so that's when they were freshmen. Our junior class, uh, that's my, my, son, my second son's class, class of 2022, uh, and his group. Our sophomores, class of 2023, uh, when they were freshmen. And then we don't have that freshman picture yet, but we're going to have one. We are. We're going to put one together, and, and we've already figured out some ways to do that uh, using Photoshop. It's pretty incredible. But we're going to put a class picture together. Um, they need to have that because Marmion is about community. Our three pillars within our mission statement are shown here developing our young men spiritually, providing outstanding academic opportunities, regardless of academic ability, meaning we have programming of dual credit and AP, and we also have programming for those who perhaps need a little additional help. And then leadership, building Christian leaders. And we have evolved. On the top of the slide there, it says 21st century Benedictine Catholic education. We have evolved, but what has been the same, and Abbot John actually has said this, is our foundation, our foundation as a Catholic Benedictine school. A Catholic Benedictine school with these three pillars, in this order, I should say. So as Marmion changes from those black and white pictures to the colored pictures and now, and hopefully the future, when you and your son join our Marmion family, we will continue to evolve. Next year we will be different, but we should be, because it's a whole different group of students who come together every year. This is what makes a school successful, and, and there, there are some wonderful um, educational authors uh, that say this, but what I want to show you is there is a, a viable plan that we continue to follow, and we go through each of these bullet points annually. This is part of our evolution as a school, and then we look at the students who are in our population every year, because that changes. Kind of summarizing the whole piece up, our educational goals provide a safe place where everybody can excel as an individual excel as who they are, not compare themselves to others. And, and Marmion will get them there. That's our job. That's what we enjoy to do. That's why we're here. And the second part, uh, bringing in the educational practices of the 21st century. We have iPads here. We have a span of technology. But we balance that with the traditional pieces of being a Benedictine school. That's Marmion. That's Marmion. And here it is, building Christian leaders, men of Marmion, uh, there you see on the left, that's actually our Ash Wednesday Mass. And, and it's a beautiful sight, and I never tire of seeing it. What that is, is those are our young men praying in front of the cross at the end of Mass, not afraid to express their faith. Um, we have many different programs here, and you can see just some other pictures. There's our, our, our Marmion Rosary Band, um, and then some of the boys from, from last year, uh, they're in the hallway. There's a lot that I could talk about, but this is what you're going to see in the recorded videos. You're going to see an explanation of all of these pieces that support our pillars. That's why we put that together. That's what you would normally see in our open house, and that is what you will see, albeit recorded. I will mention this, though. The challenge right now is to bring that to our students, and you probably might be wondering, what does Marmion look like right now? What are we doing today? Well, we have in-person and remote learning. We're, we are on a hybrid schedule. Uh, we offered that to our families, and we also, also have offered full remote. And we're doing the best we can in the circumstances we can to continue to foster and build community. If you're wondering about our plan, and I will mention this, it is online, our return to school plan, so you can take a look at that too. So you can see that we're doing everything here as safely as possible. But we're st still trying to do it as best as we can, keeping all of who we are as a Benedictine community going. Some pictures from the beginning of the year. Um, you can see here are students in masks. Uh, Brother Andre, actually at our freshman orientation, we called the MA Way, uh, in, in a small group there. Uh, the students at mass, socially distanced, of course, but we still are able to have mass. And that's key to, to being who we are as a Catholic Benedictine school. Every year, we take a look at the 10 Benedictine hallmarks, and our spiritual formation committee picks two that we will concentrate on as a school. 
This year, we're concentrating on community and obedience. And this is across the board. This is our students, it's our faculty and staff, and it's led by our spiritual formation committee, which has several of the monks as a part of it. Students are actually chosen by our faculty uh, monthly on, on representing one or many of those hallmarks, and we honor them. It's the Blessed Columba Marming Award, and this is actually in our DCO library. Pictures of the young men, and then why they were nominated, and what, what hallmark they were nominated for. Spirituality is that first pillar, and I'm going to kind of pick up my pace here a bit just to show you some pictures. Again, let me remind you that the, these are pictures pre-pandemic of the past couple of years. Eucharistic ministers, that's part of being a, a, a Catholic leader, a, a Christian leader, if you will. Uh, these are last year's uh, Eucharistic ministers. We were unable to do it this past summer, but annually we go to Nazareth Farm, uh, a mission trip where we help um, build homes for the less fortunate. It's an amazing experience for our young men and, and some of our leaders. Uh, on each side here, this is Mark Malkowski, our campus minister, and Mark Wakis, um, two Marmine alum, by the way, who, who work in our theology department. Mark is the campus minister, as I said, and Mark Wakis is actually the department chair in our theology department. Special Olympics, Mr. Johnson, who I'll be introducing to you just briefly, um, he started us in Special Olympics, and we've grown. We've grown what he has started uh, here at Marmion. And we, we've now been involved for many years, including a giant gala that we normally have in the spring. This here behind me is Special Olympics bowling. We've been a part of, um, this is Special Olympics golf, and, and we've been a part of Special Olympics tennis, which we actually host here. Crans for Kids is, is an opportunity to be a leader in the community, started actually by a Marmion alum and his sister. Uh, the Zimmermans. Um, this is called Crayons for Kids. And what this normally is, is our students sitting outside of, of Jewel Osco's. Maybe you've seen them over the last couple of years. And they're collecting supplies on behalf of students, grade school students and middle school students of the Fox Valley area. Last year, they collected over 50,000 units and $10,000. Unfortunately, we had to scale that down this past year, but we still, we still, it still took place. It took place as a drop-off here at the school. Cal's Angels were involved in our community, um, helping different causes. In this particular case, it was a young man who was recovering from cancer who we celebrated um, for the, the positive um, finish of his treatments and all that he had been through. It was, it was part of a fundraiser as well. Uh, last year at one of our football games, and there's a picture of him jogging out uh, with the team. Nursing home visits. This has been a big part of what has been started here at Marmion for many, many years. This is, this is difficult, especially in the pandemic times um, of going to see. So we've done virtual visits, which has been wonderful. And um, we can still do that, and, and we are doing that. Academically, very quickly, I want to show you last year's ACT summary. Um, and what, what, I, what I want you to see here, and I know there are a lot of numbers, and I'm going through this a little fast. Uh, Mr. Large, actually, one of the assistant principals uh, for academics, actually, he will talk more about this, as, as will Coach Thorpe, Dan Thorpe, our college guidance counselor, is it doesn't matter where you are. We will help you get ready for college. We will help you get ready. Perhaps your idea is to be in a trade, or perhaps, as some of our young men do, they go directly into the military. It doesn't matter what path you choose, we will get you there. And that's what these numbers show. Um, for, for a further breakdown, you can take a look on our website for more details. Those are outstanding numbers across the board, regardless of the category, but we have help. Everybody needs some help, regardless. Um, you can see here, and, and Mr. Raykow will be talking about this. He's the director of our academic center. center. These are all of the ways that we are helping all of our young men um, for, for writing college essays, or maybe just writing that essay freshman year. We have a writing lab. Okay, if you need some help in class, we have a formal academic center with tutors staffing every day. And I could go on and on. Again, this will be something that you'll hear about if, as you tune into the videos. Our DCO library has been renewed. We completed this. It was a several year project. Um, this has now tripled. Our, our expansion here internally has tripled the capacity. Um, this area here used to be a very large card catalog. Parents, you can kind of laugh at that. We all remember the Dewey Decimal System. Uh, if you ask a, a student here today what that is, they'll say, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. T, I, I really don't know what that is. So it was time to get rid of that and really renew our, our space, which we have. But this houses our academic center, our writing lab, our testing center. This is where all of our counselors are. We have four strong. 
This is where students come to get help or just sit and read and relax. And we still do have books. In the back of the library there, if, and, and I know it's hard to see, there are about 10,000 books that we still have in our library. That's why we can still call it a formal library. We have an area just for the students, a student commons area, our Killian commons area. If you have a C average and you're not in trouble in the dean's office, you can choose to study here. And you can see there's tables, there's an air printer in there, there is a TV. It's like what you would see in college. We are, we are helping you raise a college-bound individual, and this is part of that. But there is a, a, a teacher in there uh, every period. But the, the students also use this before and after school as a place that they, they can call their own. Mr. Large will talk about our AP and dual credit offerings. I'm not going to go through it, but I, I, I know you can see there's a lot of writing on here. We've added over the last seven years to our dual credit offerings and our AP offerings. But it's not just for those you might say, well, you know, my son does well, or maybe my son struggles a bit. I don't know if those are for him. We have dual credit English for all who take English 4. My son, who's a junior right now, is taking dual credit art. So he'll receive credit for that and, and for his uh, studies now at the collegiate level. So we don't just have the programming for those who are at the tippy top of the academic scale, if you will. It's for everybody. These offerings are for everybody. And, and that's been something that we've kept in mind. Our fine and performing arts, uh, this is a picture actually of our Marmy and Rosary band. Actually, it's our jazz band up there. Uh, performing at Disney World. That's a trip that we take every four years, and next year is the next trip that we are taking. An incredible time. Our choir, um, our, our men's choir, different levels of it. That's our competition choir, and they just taken a first place in a major competition. So there literally is something for everyone. I'd be amiss if I didn't stop and pause, although you'll hear, hear Dr. Pink's talking about this, our Sea Park Engineering Program. Marmion offers engineering for our students. The first levels will consist of the young men being certified in SolidWorks. And then they have a choice. They could go on and work with, with large companies um, as a quasi-intern, some going into literal internships in the summer times, but it's work with big companies and in return, they get a letter stating what they did for those companies and it's a difference maker when applying to universities. Others go the other way. Maybe they go into animation. Maybe they go into some other pieces. The Sea Park program is the partnership with those big businesses. Again, you can take a look at that. Here's one of the projects that they worked on. This is actually a hurricane wall. And without getting into the whole piece, because I'll start diving uh, down into places that I can't really talk about uh, in the engineering program, um, this is the, the, the stress on the hurricane wall that we were doing. Again, this is just offering uh, uh, advice to these big companies, but it's incredible experience for the young men. Colleges that we go to across the board. And if you were to look behind me on which universities, um, I'm very proud to say our young men get into some top universities. Uh, they also get into universities across the board. They give a lot of scholarship money. And that's really the key. Um, we are also, as I mentioned to you, having those dual credit program offerings and AP offerings. Hopefully your son will be able to test out of a lot of college classes. That's another key. That's another savings for you. An investment in Marmion here in high school will save you money than at the collegiate level. Leadership, our leadership program, two, two wonderful programs who get you to the same place with two different curricula, our JROTC program and our LEAD program. Again, you'll hear more about both of those in the videos. There's some pictures here, um, our JROTC program in a, in a pass and review that normally happens every Friday afternoon. Unfortunately, we're unable to do that at this time. Hopefully, soon and God willing, we'll get back to that uh, here very quickly. And on the top is our LEAD commissioning. Uh, those are the leaders of the lead department, the, the lead student leaders being commissioned by uh, Mr. Bellafiore, actually, in this picture. And then out here, Eagle Scout Project, an Eagle Scout Project honoring all Marmion alum who have fallen across the history of Marmion in service of our country. But that shows the type of leadership that we're talking about. It's not just the curriculum. Everything behind me in red are leadership opportunities. That's why at the very beginning we said we're building men of Marmion Christian leaders. That's the key. Some fun pieces to mention as I'm wrapping up. We do have a Mr. Marmion contest every year. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get to back to that very soon. Uh, it's a nice picture there, but it's all about service. It's all about service because the, the funds raised will, will always go to a charity, a charity picked uh, by our ministry team. Athletics. If you want to look for a, a, a school that excels in athletics across the board with a, a wonderful offering, um, you can look no further than Marmion. This is just a collage of all of our teams, and we've had great success 
at the state series level over the last five years. Again, a lot to get into, but you'll see that in the videos. Take a look at that and follow us. We have a pride program at Marmion. Positive attitude, respect, integrity, determination, and enthusiasm. And once a month, um, we come into the gym and we celebrate all that's good. Obviously, we can't do that in, given the current circumstances, but we're going to do that on a smaller scale. I'll be going into all of the, the lunch periods with the young men when obviously we have them broken up in the smaller groups and still celebrating. Did you give that $10 in when you found it on the floor? floor? We're going to celebrate you. Did your team or club or activity just do very well? We're going to celebrate you. We're just going to celebrate you because. That's what we do at our Pride Assemblies. And we always end in a competition. There's a fun picture of some of our students actually using hula hoops. And I, know you, I don't know if you'd ever get my son to do that. Well, the competition normally goes like this. I call for volunteers out of the, the, the crowd of students. They come up. They don't know what the competition is. And I kind of lay it on them. And in this case, it was a hula hoop contest to see who could do it the longest. The winning class, because it's a junior, senior, freshman, sophomore, the winning class gets a free pizza party uh, and, and dress down day on, on me. It's a ton of fun. Homecoming, um, the reason why I mention that is we, we always enjoy a wonderful partnership with Rosary High School. And here is a pride assembly um, from last year, actually, with our court there on the top and then all of the students. We had over 850 students in our gymnasium last year, just having a roarous time. That's the essence of who we are. That's community. As I mentioned, our partnership with Rosary, uh, the young ladies at Rosary take part in our engineering classes. They take part in our LEAD program, and they've for a very long time been a part of our Marmy and Rosary band. We enjoy a wonderful partnership with Rosary High School going back to the 1970s, probably earlier than that. Uh, but as Abbott John mentioned, I'm the class of 84, not 67. Um, I'm just kidding. It's, it's a wonderful partnership that we have, and we've actually participated uh, in parades and other community events with Rosary. And I ask you to take a look. Take a look at Rosary as well. Uh, you can go on their website and take a look at uh, more in information on their shadow days, um, their practice entrance exams, and, and such. But take a look at Rosary. My daughter actually is a student there. I know some of the things you're concerned about. We live far away. I leave early in the morning. How am I going to get my son to Marmion? We have an, an, an ex extensive transportation program. I'm not going to give you all of the routes, but last year we added two more, and we'll continue to add. We go all the way out towards the Cal. We go south now down toward Plainfield and, and south Naperville. We go up north. I mean, we go east and west. So no worries. There's probably a route or a way for us to get your son here. The other is cost, especially during these difficult times, and I understand that. We understand that. And over the years, we continue to grow our Guardian Angel Financial Assistance Fund. Last year, we, we offered over $810,000 in, in need-based and academic scholarships. This past year, it was over a million dollars. So if you would like your son to come here, we'll find a way. What Marmion wants, we want a, a young man of high character who's willing to be himself and work hard. And we'll find a way for, to make that happen. The future. This is going to be very quickly, but you should know what you're getting yourself into because it's for a lifetime. Being part of the Marmion family is for a lifetime. We are looking at adding fields out to that beautiful campus that I showed you at the beginning. We're looking at adding on to our Banker Hall, the dormitory, and turning it into a STEM and, and Fine and Performing Arts Center. Uh, here's a wonderful artist rendition of what that might look like. You can see this is the, the current dormitory building, which we do use. And then in the front here is a new student chapel. Remember, our first pillar, spirituality. We want to in, grow in our offering and place in, a, a place of worship and place where the students can come together in ministry. Back in, in, in the back, uh, that's a new auditorium, a fine and performing arts center. And then housed inside here will be various classrooms, including a brand new space for our, our engineering program. This is what that might look like at nighttime. That's a beautiful picture there, isn't it? Here's the rendition of what our Fine and Performing Arts Center might look like. Again, the original dormitory there. This is the future. This is where we're going. Remember, we're going to continue to grow on the things that are working so well here, but adding more, adding more, changing every year. Back on the academics, excuse me, the athletic side, we're looking at adding. So this is our current field house and gymnasium. We're looking at adding all of these pieces out here, a new student commons area, a larger area, a new wrestling room, 
a new fitness and training facility, and then a welcome center, Marmion Museum, and moving all of our administrative offices over there. The reason for that, because then we can use all of the space in our Battaglia Center for the students. We'll all move over to where, if you will, the business side of the school will be, and we can then add even more space for the needs of our students. Here's a great picture of what that entrance might look like. Here's the current entrance on the bottom. Uh, you can see these are great plans. They are. And I'm just wrapping up here showing you some of these pictures. Our quad area, our beautiful quad down here, and we'll add to that space. And then near our student parking lot, we're actually going to expand our field house, add another court, and expand our indoor track so we can host indoor IHSA events. There is something for everyone here, as you've heard. I know I've been a, lo a little long-winded, and I apologize for that, but I am so proud to be a part of something so special as Marmion. I leave you with this story. This is our senior class that graduated actually last year. This is when they were freshmen. And, and one of the, the, their, their peers, a member of the freshman class at that time, had cancer and was, and was going through his fight with cancer. And it was difficult. So they sent him this picture. It was a picture of all of them with, with the fly in the W, right, win. You're going to win. And they, they drew a picture of him. And it is a stick figure, and I know you can't see that very well. But that was him, and it's his name there, which I'm glad it's blurred uh, for, for his privacy, but it's, it's wonderful to show this. And then they had wristbands made. And it said, brothers don't let brothers fight alone. That's very telling. That's very telling because they were, these were freshmen. They had just joined us, but they got it. They got, they got the essence of Marmion, partially because of who they are, partially because of who we are. Partially because of their parents, and that's all of us. Hopefully that'll be your son. Stay connected with us. Uh, Why Marmion? That's a series that Mr. Dixon promotes, um, and, and we always have guest speakers on there. Uh, so take a look at that on our website. Our entrance exam, uh, we look forward to seeing you there. And then our, our baseball skills camp was actually canceled because of weather, so it's still open. So take a look online for that as well. We just had a very successful football camp recently. And if your son attended, thank you. And if you're signed up for the baseball camp, Thank you for doing that, and if you're considering it, take a look online. I thank you for joining us this afternoon. I know there's a lot out there for you. This is a very big decision for you, probably life-altering for your son. You considering Marmion, we take that very serious, and we appreciate it. This is a wonderful picture just in closing. One of my favorite. A few years ago, this is our seniors, our seniors leaving the football field for the last time. They didn't know somebody was behind them with a the camera, but they just took a picture. To me, this represents that. They fought hard, they ran the race well, and they were leaving, but they were leaving the field together as Marmion brothers. Community and brotherhood, it's at the essence of who we are. It's at the essence of who we are as a Catholic Benedictine school. It's now time for me to welcome, with my pleasure, uh, Mr. Bill Johnson, Deacon Bill Johnson, who actually is pictured up here, uh, who's, who did a tremendous job with our campus ministry program for many, many years, uh, actually starting our outreach ministry program that now he's the assistant for, uh, led by Olivia, uh, Olivia Lyons. Uh, Mr. Johnson will be talking to you about a few more of these pieces. But thank you once again, and have a pleasant day. Thank you, uh, Mr. Tinerella. As Mr. Tinerella stated, my name is Bill Johnson, and I'm a Marmion grad and the proud husband for over 51 years to my wife, Carol. And by the way, Abbott John was a freshman when I was a senior. So if you think 1967 was long, uh, I graduated in 1964. I mentioned that because Marmion and the wonderful monks made me into the man I am today. No kidding aside. Without them and the grace and love of God and uh, my wonderful wife, I wouldn't be here today to represent the school that I love so much. For a fact, this is my 22nd year back at Marmion. In my role as campus minister, and Associate Director of our Outreach Program, I have come to see these students grow. And I've come to see what the Marmion difference is all about. For a fact, 
I'm living it out now with my oldest grandson, Zach, who is a sophomore here at Marmion. There goes that tradition again. And when Zach started Marmion, he was a boy. Now he's becoming a man. And that has a lot to do with this wonderful school. As you view Marmion today, I'd like you, the parents out there, to think of your sons, the hopes and dreams you have for them. Remember when you held them as a little bambino and looked into their eyes? What were you hoping, dreaming, and praying for them? What did you want their lives to look like in the future? What do you want their lives to look like now in the next four years? What values do you want them to have four years from now as they are seniors? Well, I asked some of our current seniors right now here at Marmion, who I know very well, and I asked them to jot down their thoughts of what the Marmion difference is. And I took little snippets from some of the seniors that I asked, and I want you to hear what they had to say. Ryan Fitzgerald, one of our outstanding seniors, here's what he said, just a little snippet. Without the Marmion difference, I truly believe I wouldn't be the same person that I am today. Think about that from an 18-year-old. Sam Hoyne, the faculty care and want to see their students succeed in everything they do. Wow, Sam is outstanding. Jack Donovan, the effect Marmion has had, or excuse me, has on our faith is so unique and powerful. Again, our faith, living a life of value is very important here of Marmion. Jonas Ortiz, here's a quote from him. We go through the toughest times together and we go through the best times together. We are brothers at Marmion. You hear a lot about the brotherhood. Romero Martinez, the brotherhood is the cement that brings all of us individuals together, creates a strong community, a community of trust and of service, lifelong friends, and a home we can always come back to. I wonder how many people say that about their high school, that they want to go back and experience the campus, see some of the faculty, even some of the students who are now about ready to graduate when they graduated. Zeke Pyle, the Marmion difference is a product of hard work, oh yeah, and a brotherhood that forges boys into men. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Nick Reed, our last outstanding senior that I want to quote. The Marmion difference is being able to challenge yourself every single day to live out the gifts and the talents God has given to us. Boy, that's it. That says it all. Those seniors shared with you what the Marmion difference means to them and what the Marmion difference can mean to your son. We will work together. We can't do this alone. Your family and Marmion, we're going to work together to help give the opportunity to your son to become a man of character and faith in a world that really needs that. That's what we'll work at. As you embark on this journey of high school, may God bless you and your family. Thank you for considering Marmion for your son. And as we always say, go cadets. Well, now I'd like to present our video portion of our virtual open house. Enjoy.
Hello, my name is Father Michael. I'm one of the Benedictine monks of Marmion Abbey. I don't know how much you know of monastic history or Benedictine monks, and you might expect us to make our living perhaps making cheese, bread, fruitcake, beer, but actually we've been running schools for a very, very long time, since the late 500s. That gives us 14 centuries of experience of running schools. We've been here in the Fox Valley since 1933. Well, why do monks run schools? We hope that if you attend Marmion, you will be able to attend that college of your dreams and stay there. We hope that you will grow in self-confidence. We hope that you develop all of your various talents and skills which God has given you. And we especially hope that you will make lifelong friends. These are all great goals for us and for you as an incoming student. But in particular, our hope and the real reason that we run schools is so that you can grow spiritually. That is, develop your relationship to God, preparing young men for this life and the next. That's our goal here at Marmion. As a matter of fact, if you do not meet Jesus walking the halls of Marmion in four years, we will have failed you. So through four years of theology classes, the availability of the sacraments, daily mass, the school retreats, prayer and class, campus ministry, and our Catholic environment, we want you, we hope that you grow spiritually. So ministry outreach here at Marmion is a very important thing for all the students. Uh, you're able to get involved starting at freshman year and eventually join the outreach team junior or senior year. Here, you're able to go out into your community and talk about your faith, talk about how Marmion has helped you become more spiritual and grow in your faith life. I would now like to introduce Mr. Malkowski, who will talk to you guys about the outreach ministry here at Marmion. The motto of campus ministry is faith in action. I have the incredible opportunity to walk with our students um, and to see them witness their faith and grow in their faith and ultimately um, throughout their time here, put that faith into action. Faith is such a, a personal journey, and hopefully through the opportunities that are available through campus ministry, our students are able to connect on a personal level, on an individual level with their faith in a way that's meaningful to them. The action part of campus ministry is all about taking what our students learn in theology classes, what you've heard at Mass growing up, what your parents have taught you, and being able to put that into practice and so that your faith comes alive to you. And so our, our action component really is centered on our tradition of service here at Marmion. Again, that is something that has been so integral to the Benedictine tradition for the past 1500 years, going out and serving, but also is very integral to what Marmion has to offer. And all those opportunities, they're not about bingo, it's not about bowling, it's not about putting a new roof on somebody's house, it's about experiencing the presence of God within the people that we are interacting with. And that's how service allows an individual to grow in their faith. I came from a Catholic school background, receiving my sacraments and going to weekly mass, but I never really made God more than just a thought. Coming to Marmion, we were required to do 15 hours of service, and this 15 hours of service after a while just doesn't even feel like a requirement anymore. Starting my freshman year, I was able to go to the nursing home with Mr. Malkowski and Mr. Johnson. They call out numbers until we have to leave, and every single time I would leave with a huge smile on my face. That hour allows me to share my stories about Marmion and hear about their life stories. The amount of joy they possess is so overwhelming, and I truly believe that is God's presence through them. Two hours a month doesn't seem like much, but it makes a huge impact on them and on me. What I'm trying to say is get involved with service. Don't be nervous to try something new. This pandemic has thrown a curveball at us and completely rerouting us off a of track, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, in about every way possible. One thing that I've learned though, is that this pandemic is temporary while faith is permanent. It is only a matter of time for you to figure that out too. Thank you.
Hello, I'm Mr. Joseph Large. I'm our Assistant Principal of Academics here at Marmion. I'll also be speaking along with Mrs. Rebecca Can, our Assistant Principal of Curriculum and Instruction, and Mr. Andy D'Amato, our Assistant Principal of Operations and Technology in regards to our academic curriculum and our Student Affairs Department. Here at Marmion, we really focus on engaging the student both in and out of the classroom in regard to their academics and their learning across their four years here. In our academic programming here at Marmion, we focus on our core academic departments, including theology, leadership, mathematics, science, English, social sciences, world languages, and fine arts. Over the course of their four years, we strive to make sure the students are fully prepared for their college applications and entrance exams. As you can see by our ACT scores, students have done very well uh, over the last five to 10 years here at Marmion. First and foremost among our academic departments is our theology department. Uh, as freshmen, they study the Old Testament uh, and sacred scriptures. As sophomores, they move into the New Testament. As juniors, they study church history. And then as seniors, they learn about world religions and how to use their faith in their everyday lives. Our next department is our leadership department, which is another one of our core pillars here at Marmion. We really try to engage the students to grow in terms of their leadership potential over their four years here. By choosing between either the JROTC program or the LEAD program, students are offered two wonderful choices to grow in their leadership development. Our mathematics department has offerings for students of all levels of mathematical skill. We do placement testing at the beginning of freshman year to determine if a student is ready for advanced math classes such as Honors Geometry or Honors Algebra II. All of these will lead students down a path of success in our math program, whether they are on the regular track, the accelerated track, or even a double accelerated track. We offer pre-calculus and trigonometry, AP Calculus 1, AP Calculus 2, AP Statistics, and AP Computer Science. We also offer dual credit math offerings in pre-calculus, calculus, statistics, and computer science. The math team is another opportunity for students to engage out of the classroom. Our math team has actually been ranked in the top 10 in the state over the last 10 years. The science department is one where students can often choose their own path based on their interest in science. The students have to take uh, core classes such as biology and chemistry over their first two years, but after that are able to choose their own science electives to tailor our curriculum to their own interests. Students can choose from a range of electives uh, varying from physics to anatomy and physiology, genetics and forensics, geology, astronomy, even to AP courses in uh, biology, chemistry, and physics as well. We also offer many opportunities outside the classroom for students to engage in science with our Science Olympiad team, the WISE team, uh, our chemistry club. Next, Mrs. Can will be discussing our humanities departments and their offerings. Hello, my name is Rebecca Can. I'm the Assistant Principal of Curriculum and Instruction, and thank you for joining us for our virtual open house. For our students at Marmion, there's four years required of English, either at the regular level, the honors level, or a combination of both. So you'll notice on the slides that freshman year covers grammar, vocabulary, and research. That's our genre study where the basic foundation of English is set. English two is world literature and how literature is incorporated into our society. English three, we move into a variety of different options. That is the first level in the English department in which your student will be able to take an advanced placement course, language and composition. Senior year, your student can take regular English four, which is British literature. They also have the option of taking a dual credit English four class through Wabanzi or an advanced placement course with College Board, which I'll speak about later in my presentation. Alrighty, the next department that we're going to look at in the humanities area is social science. World history is the first class in this course for this department, and that starts sophomore year. Junior year, students can take regular U.S. history, or they can take uh, the advanced placement course. Senior year, there are semester classes. So one semester, the students will be studying American government, and the second semester, students will be studying economics. As you'll notice on the slide, advanced placement is offered for all of these levels. The other thing that I would like you to notice is in this department, there is a wide variety of electives. There is business and marketing, accounting, psychology, current topics in US history, philosophy, and a law class. And then the last subject area that's going to round out this part of the presentation is the world languages. So you will notice that there are two years required, and they are required in the same language. We have Spanish, French, and Italian. 
The other thing that you'll notice is that the upper levels of these subject areas has the option of taking a dual credit class through Loyola University or the advanced placement courses. Lastly, each of the languages has a club that helps the students participate in a lot of the cultural activities and traditions of the language that they're in. There is an honor society for each one of these languages and each one of these classes participate in taking and obviously preparing for the national exam. So fine arts, you're required to take one full credit. Now, students, just like if you remember in the social studies presentation, they come in semester classes. So you'll notice that there's art appreciation, which is taken freshman year, music appreciation, which is taken sophomore year, and then a variety of other classes to choose from. Under this department, you'll also find that band, jazz band, chorus, guitar club, and art club are all moderated by the teachers in this department. College credit during high school is something that is open to many of our students at Marmion Academy. So there's two areas in which your student can earn college credit. One is advanced placement in College Board, in which your student will enroll in a class and the class will start to prep them and cover the material that they'll need to do well on these tests. The other thing that you will notice on the slide is that we partner with a variety of universities in allowing the students to earn dual credit while they are attending the classes at Marmion. And so while for advanced placement, the student has to take a test to earn the credit, for dual credit, they actually are earning credit by sitting in the classes here. So you'll notice listed on the screen, we have Loyola University, Wabonzi Community College, University of St. Francis, and we are in the process of adding Benedictine. So hopefully through this presentation, you've been able to get just a glimpse of the academic experiences that your student could have here at Marmion. If you do have any further questions about our academics, programming, or placement opportunities, please feel free to contact me uh, via email at jlarge at marmion.org. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Andy D'Amato. I'm the Assistant Principal of Operations here at Marmion Academy. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our Student Affairs Office. Our Student Affairs Office is typically known as a Dean of Students Office. Um, here at Marmion we call it Student Affairs because we handle it a little differently. We like to teach our students about respect, responsibility, and accountability. Respect for themselves and others, responsibility for their actions, and accountability for the decisions that they make. While we want them to make their own decisions, we're going to be there to help guide them throughout their Marmion career and help them become better young men. Once they go to college, they're going to have to do these things on their own. So ultimately, it's our job to get them to that point. Young men of Marmion mean something. They're going to respect each other, they're going to be responsible, and they will be accountable for every decision they make in their lives moving forward. They're going to be contributing members of society. And ultimately, we want them to be the best that they can be. Every student is different and every person is different. And it's really our goal to help them become the best version of themselves as they move through Marmion and again, as they move through life. Hello, my name is Anthony Serencioni and I'm the program director for the LEAD program here at Marmion. Taking part in this program will separate you from the pack. It is the only program of its kind in the United States. The first two years of this program are centered on becoming the best version of yourself. We wanna make sure that we are, are building on our strengths and that we are addressing some of our weaknesses. The last quarter of freshman year, we give the freshmen a chance to decide what avenue of leadership they'd like to invest some of their time in moving further. Years three and four are spent on leading a team and working together and collaboratively to solve problems, to create presentations and to tackle global issues of concern. We use collegiate books that are geared towards working on group work. In the last two years of this program, you have the ability to earn college credit through the University of St. Francis. On Mondays and Fridays, we have a, a class period called I-Period, and we get a chance to meet as an entire group. We have guest speakers that come in and talk about leadership and how it applies to their field in the real world. We also have debates, which end up being pretty fun. Additionally, there's an opportunity for your student to become a part of the executive team. 
We have a student director who's typically a senior who's voted on by uh, a small panel that conducts interviews that includes myself, uh, prior lead members, and prior student directors. Another exciting thing about the program is that we have two classes that meet during J period, which is at 7 a.m. in the morning, where we have rosary students, one class for juniors and one for seniors. These rosary students bring a completely different perspective of leadership into our program. You can't go wrong with either program here at Marmion, whether you choose the military program or you choose the lead program. Both will give you strong, viable leadership training to help you become the best version of yourself and move into the collegiate level. Hello, I'm Major Mark Emerson, the Senior Army Instructor and the head of the ROTC department here at Marmion Academy. ROTC has been at Marmion since 1935, and its mission is to motivate young people to be better citizens. We are not recruiters for the Army. There's no military obligation incurred by taking ROTC. That being said, since 9-11, we've had 211 of our former students have gone into the military. 45 of them attended military academies, West Point, Annapolis, Air Force Academy, and the Coast Guard Academy. 102 have earned ROTC scholarships, four-year ROTC scholarships, and 64 have enlisted. Now I'm going to talk briefly about the five components of our program. The first component would be the classroom component, and we actually teach about eight different subjects. Those range from leadership, citizenship, history, communications, geography and earth science, and even air rifle safety and marksmanship. Second would be drill and ceremony. Now we use, the purpose of drill and ceremony is to teach discipline and precision response. Drill periods are every Monday and Friday, and we have an after school formation about every two weeks. In a normal year, we would have a Veterans Day ceremony, a homecoming review at halftime, a military night, a military ball, and a change of command. We have extracurricular activities. Uh, we have a drill team, which is nationally ranked. We have a rifle team, which also competes nationally. Finally, we have a leadership and academic bowl team, which has been extremely successful. Whatever leadership program you decide to go with here at Marmy, and whether it's the ROTC program or LEAD, your son's going to get excellent leadership training that's going to help him now and in the future. If you have any questions, you can email me at mmerson at marmion.org, and thank you for your time. Hello, my name is Brandon Escobedo. Um, I'm a junior here at Marmion Academy. Something I very much enjoy here is how we have access to so much technology and something that helps us out in everything to our engineering and our sciences, and we're always looking to improve in our technology. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Pinks, who will be talking about technology here at Marmion. Hello, my name is Dr. Vic Pinks. I'm Science Chair, Sea Park Engineering Center Director, and IT Director here at Marmion Academy. First of all, we have expanded our server technology. We're up to 18 virtual systems, managing over a thousand connections. We're well on our way to do the e-learning environment and making it strong and robust for students. Our Plus Portal School Management System allows us to keep in contact with families uh, regarding courses and grading. Uh, new this year is the Google G Suite Classroom Management System. And finally, uh, we have an electronic parent newsletter to keep you up to date with the happenings and uh, events here at Marmion. As far as our science, our STEM and technology course offerings, we do have engineering design, which will allow you to, the, the student to get the CSWA and CSWP industry certifications. CPARC means Computational Prototyping and Research Center, and it's a new uh, direction for engineering in, in the business world. Companies are looking toward engineering and simulation prototyping. When a student is industry certified as a CSWA or P, 
we, they are allowed to do work for companies. We've done work for, for some Fortune 500 companies and some federal agencies we're currently involved with. So we're, we're not uh, doing work in a sense that's watered down for high school. We're doing their problems, and this is what attracts the businesses. In uh, 2017 and 2018, we won two international awards uh, through Amazon Web Services, and we competed with uh, schools, universities, and even cities themselves. Our, we're most proud of our work with the FAA uh, STEM AVZ program, which has allowed us to take a look at uh, uh, airflow around uh, air traffic control towers. Last year, Purdue picked up 13 of our students Basically, uh, we're well prepared for the future, and uh, the future is now with simulation prototyping. We're very proud of all the work that we've done here in that area. Hi there, my name is David Rakow. I am the Director of Student Academic Services here at Marmion Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to our virtual fall open house. Freshmen come in, we, we pull students in from about 50 different middle schools and they arrive with a pretty wide range of skills, talents, expectations that they had uh, in their previous schools. Uh, we try to be as proactive as possible and there's typically a learning curve for freshmen but it is very normal, very worth it and it sets these guys up to where they're gonna, they're gonna learn some academic skills that will stay with them throughout their Marmion careers and hopefully stay with them throughout their college careers and into their, their working careers as well. A little bit about our setup. We have three school counselors here at Marmion Academy. Uh, they divide students based on last names and they stick with those students throughout their four years at Marmion. We also have a college guidance counselor. We do offer student support plans which are accommodations plans for students who have diagnosed learning disabilities. Those tend to be very specific based on each student's needs. So if you do have specific questions on that, I would suggest reaching out to one of the counselors we have on staff or to myself directly, and we'd be happy to have a discussion with you about your son and what services we might have to offer to help him in his uh, academic career here at Marmion. We also have a freshman skills course that every freshman is required to take. That course is taught by the, the support staff, including the counselors here at Marmion. Uh, we do weekly grade and eligibility checks. That happens every Wednesday, and parents do get an email if their son is failing two or more courses. If the student is out of the building for any reason for more than a few days, uh, the counselors will proactively reach out to that student. Uh, we do offer tutors, help students in uh, a wide variety of subjects. The two most popular are math and science. The library, the academic center is open before and after school. Students also have the option to come down to the library during their study halls, where it's an opportunity for them to study or to meet with tutors. Hello, my name is Angel Camarillo. I'm a junior here at Marmion, and my favorite thing about Marmion is the community and the brotherhood. It's really helped me get through some difficult times in life. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our school counselors who will now speak to you about our Student Academic Center here at Marmion. Hello, and welcome to Marmion Academy's Fall Virtual Open House. We are your Marmion school counselors. One of the nice things about working with students by alphabet is that we are able to meet your son freshman year and grow with them all the way through to their senior year. We really get to know them, we get to know their needs and how best we can support them and help them. And by senior year, we're really proud, uh, just as proud as everyone else to see them walk across that stage. One of the areas that the counselors work with your son in is academics. We help your son identify if they are struggling, identify any obstacles in their learning, and help them overcome those obstacles. We also help your son with their course selection every year as well. Another piece is the college guidance piece. We start that process at your son's freshman year. We utilize Naviance and in-class presentations to help them determine what the right path is for them. We want to challenge them and we want to give them the best possible schedule for their college and career ambitions. In addition to these pieces, we also work with your sons with the emotional and social aspect of their high school career. We work individually with students, we work with groups. Ultimately, we want to see your son grow and develop holistically throughout their four years here at Marmion. 
feel free if you have any questions to reach out to any of us uh, via email or phone. You can find that on our website. And we really look forward to seeing you and your son here on campus in the fall. Hello everyone, Dan Thorpe, Director of College Guidance. We're gonna build problem solvers. We're gonna make your son a leader. We take good kids and make them great academically. And we take an average boy who maybe is getting C's at his middle school and they become successful at Marmion and they become successful in college. How do we do that? This thing called activities period. At Marmion, we have that during the day. So your son can be involved in Respect Life Club, the weightlifting club, the Frisbee club. And what happens over the course of four years, our boys become the leaders of those clubs. And we have kids even start their own club. And then his application for college is thicker. Tremendous. We're gonna push your son. We hear it all the time when guys come back to Marmion and they say, hey Thorpey, when I was at Marmion, I had a 2.2 GPA. College is easy. We hear that all the time. We're gonna work with him, we're gonna shape him, and he's gonna leave here a different individual than he was in middle school. He's gonna come back from college successful, involved, confident. It's called the Marmion Brotherhood. You see it in the hallways. You see it after their sporting events, fine art events, JROTC lead events. It's cool to take care of each other. And that's pretty neat. That's a pretty neat thing to be a part of. It would be an honor to work with your son. I'm very proud to be a part of this staff. We're not for everyone. And I'm okay, I'll shake your hand, good luck. But if you come here, we're gonna mold you, work with you, and it's gonna be a great four years. Thank you for listening. Go Cadets. I'd like to give some advice to you young men who are considering Marmion. I feel that the choice of high school is the most important choice you will make in your teen years, even more so than college. Many students attend the high school where their grade school friends are going. That's not the best reason. You need to depend upon your parents to help you choose the school that will help you develop, that will challenge you to become that good young man they want you to be. And I'm suggesting you turn to your parents for advice because they have life experience which you do not have yet. Now to truly understand Marmion as a spiritual place, as an opportunity to grow in your faith, I think it's always best to hear from a student. So now it's my great pleasure to introduce to you one of our seniors, Nick Reed. Wow, has time flown by. I'm currently standing here remembering my first days here at Marmion. Matter of fact, I was sitting right up there every day you're going to be challenged. Every day, you're going to be tested mentally, physically, and emotionally. You're coming to Marmion because it is a challenging place. Don't be afraid of that. Take that challenge and make something great of it. Here at Marmion, you'll experience the theology class, a class in which you will learn the beliefs of Catholicism. Just because that class might be new, don't be afraid. Take that challenge and run with it. Every year, you will take part in a retreat in which you can become closer to God and your classmates. Everyone experiences a brotherhood on their own time. Personally, I experienced it during my junior year where I wasn't doing too well, but my brothers helped me get back on my feet and head to the light. The impact you make on others is so much more than you realize in that moment. Our stories and life situations might be different, but we are all created as equal children of God and we must respect one another. As you leave to embark on your high school journey, I hope that you pray that God will help you find the right high school for you. And I personally will pray for you so that place can be Marmion 
because it is such a wonderful place. On behalf of all of the monks of Marmion Abbey, the administration, faculty, and staff, and the entire student body of Marmion Academy, it's our hope that after seeing our program today, that you'll come to know that Marmion is a safe, structured, and supportive environment. One where your son will grow his talents spiritually, intellectually, and with enhanced Christian leadership skills and much, much more. We do realize that you probably have a lot of questions. So feel free to call the Office of Admissions or email us. All of our contact information is in the description below, or you can find all of our contact information on our website. Two important dates for everyone, especially all of the eighth grade parents and their sons. Our scholarship qualifying entrance exam is scheduled for Saturday, December 5th at 9 a.m. 16 scholarships will be offered at a total value of over $344,000 one of our highest totals ever. This year's exam will be online. In order to register for the exam, just visit our website, marmy.org, click on the admissions button, and also click on apply online button. You can register there, it's that easy. For all those families who have registered on Wednesday, December 2nd, we will be sending out the link, login information and password so that your son can take the exam Saturday morning, December 5th at 9 a.m. A code of conduct agreement form will need to be signed by one parent and their son to maintain integrity for the exam. If any questions arise, please do not hesitate to contact the Office of Admissions. Also earlier in Mr. Tinarella's presentation, he did mention why Marmion Zoom series program that we have every Thursday night at 7 p.m. It gives the opportunity for prospective families to give us, a call, give us uh, their questions so that we may answer them. You can ask questions of myself, faculty, staff, coaches, and or student ambassadors. Please contact the Office of Admissions and we'd be more than happy to send you all of the login information and password information. This ends our program for today. Hopefully you got a glimpse of what Marmion is all about and much, much more. Again, if questions arise, please do not hesitate to call the Office of Admissions, and we'd be more than happy to answer all of your questions. Until then, have a wonderful day. Please stay safe, and God bless you and your family, and thank you for tuning in today. Thank you.